Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this is a, a lesson, the second lesson in Chapter Two on comparison problems. So uh, here's our Common Core strand for our teachers, and basically we're going to ask uh, how can we use a model to help us solve comparison problems. We're going to be using multiplication here, uh, and subtraction, and addition too, you guys. So here we go. I have uh, three dogs, you guys, and two of them are Sammy and Heidi. So Sammy weighs seven times as much as Heidi. Together, uh, both Sammy and Heidi weigh 72 pounds. So how much does Sammy weigh? Okay, so we're going to use a multiplication model. This goes pretty fast, you guys. We're going to use the model that n represents the unknown number. Okay, well, since, uh, since we don't know how much Heidi or Sammy weighs, we're just going to let it be n. Okay, so I'll put n in here for Heidi, and Sammy is seven times as that. So there's seven boxes here, so each one of these boxes is going to get an n inside of there, okay? And then, uh, so we're going to let n represent the unknown. So the question says, uh, I'm sorry, the question, the statement right here says, together they weigh 72 pounds. So I'm going to add up all of these n's right here. All of those n's are going to equal 72 pounds right there, okay? Heidi's weight plus Sammy's weight, okay? So um, uh, we're going to use the model above to write an equation, then find the value of n, okay? All right, so... How many n's do we see here? Well, I see there's 7 down here plus this one right here. So I'm going to put an 8 right here. So, so together with uh, Heidi's weight, this is Heidi's weight, and Sammy's weight, those guys add up to 8. So there's 8n. So 8n is going to equal um, uh, 72 right there. Okay, so there are 8 parts, and the parts together equal 72. Okay, so then ask yourself, you guys, what number times 8 equals 72. Okay, and if you know your multiplication tables um, uh, well, you guys, uh, this is where it gets uh, easier. So 8 times uh, uh, 9 equals 72, you guys. So let's answer the question now. The value of n equals 9. Remember, be careful, you guys. n is not the answer. Remember, the question says, how much does Sammy weigh? Okay, well, so we're going to have to do... Uh, 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 multiply that by 7, I think, you guys, because n is how much Heidi weighs, and since Sammy weighs 7 times as much as that, then I multiply Sammy uh, is going to be 7 times 9, which is 63 pounds. Okay, so that's how much um, uh, Sammy weighs. Sammy must weigh 63 pounds. Okay, we're going to use the same scenario, but ask a little bit different question. Almost. Let me, let's answer this. So explain how we know that we have found Sammy's weight. Okay, well, the numbers match up, you guys. Heidi weighs 9 pounds, and Sammy weighs 63 pounds, and together they weigh 9 plus 63, which is 72 pounds. And that matches the information that, that uh, they're asking for. So if you see a question like that, you can just, you know, say, um, uh, you can kind of go work backwards and say it just matches your information. All right, so here we go. Sammy weighs 63 pounds. Heidi weighs 9 pounds. So the question here is, how much more does Sammy weigh than Heidi? Okay, so if Sammy weighs 63 and, he and Heidi weighs 9, how much more does Sammy weigh? So we're going to use uh, another model and let N represent the unknown here. Okay, so uh, we know that um, uh, Sammy weighs 63, so I'm going to put 63 right here. And then Heidi weighs 9. We know uh, Heidi weighs 9 right here. So this right here is going to be my unknown. That's how much more um, uh, we need to get Sammy's weight right there. Okay, so that's going to be N. All right, so um, i just move that up right there. So I'm going to uh, use that model above to write an equation and find N. Okay, so um, uh, what minus what is going to equal that N right there? Okay. Well, if this whole thing is 63 and that little piece is 9, then this is the rest of the 63. Okay, so, so it must be 63 minus 9 equals N right there. All right, so N is going to be 54. Now let's make sure we answer the question. Recall, N is how much more Sammy weighs than Heidi. So Sammy weighs 54 pounds more than Heidi does, all right? So explain how we can uh, choose a model to help solve a comparison problem. Well, we did a couple of them there, but basically uh, for comparison problems, we would need to think about um, uh, if we were finding out how many times as much one was than the other or how much, how many more, uh, uh, more or fewer uh, that one was from the other. Okay, so so here you're either going to do uh, multiplication and then um, uh, to find out what times what equals a certain number, or or a little subtraction problem or addition problem on top of that. Okay, it depends on if it says more or fewer. Okay, give it a try. You guys will do well on this. You guys, it's a nice easy lesson. All right, uh, and if you find these videos helpful, I would appreciate it if you click like. 
And if not, then please click dislike and take care, you guys. Hope you're doing great.